Thanks, Malika. And um, I think I've got a slightly different agenda for this morning, so I'm just going to um, update that. So we're actually going to start with um, Molly Hanchu, who will presenting the OC uh, prioritization tool updates, then move to Minzi. And unfortunately, uh, Andrew and Hameng are not available, so Amanda is kindly stepping in for them. But the USG system shut down yesterday, um, so neither Amanda nor I have had access to our computers for the last 24 hours, so please um, bear that in mind when you see our presentations, which we haven't been able to touch for the last few days. <laughs> uh, and I'm forgetting the instructions you gave for this, just the white button. Okay, so... Um, for those who have been at the meetings before, you may remember that the the OCB working group um, work plan is is composed of four thematic areas, which covers guidance, operations, data sharing, and research. And so I'm going to touch on the the main pieces that we've been doing, and the ones that um, are being presented, I'll I'll just name. But otherwise, there's a few other things I wanted to talk to you guys about. So, under guidance, we have two pieces uh, that have been under development this year. Uh, the framework for OCV supply allocation for preventive campaigns, and um, minzy has been supporting this, and this work has been chaired by Abhishek from CSP and Amanda from CDC, um, and many of you have been contributing to that work within a sub-team. Uh, and then the prioritization of cholera palmies for OCV, this was work that was started um, the year before, and um, we've been kind of iteratively improving it as we've been piloting the tool in different countries. So the, the update will be some of the findings and edits we've made as we've um, put that in the field. Under operations, we have two um, main areas. Uh, one is strengthening country capacity to request and use OCV, uh, regional OCV workshops. And the second main area is more targeted support for countries in developing their multi-year preventive OCV requests. So starting with the, the workshops, uh, we've implemented three regional workshops in Africa and Southeast Asia. And uh, for those who have not been involved in this, this is a five day multinational workshop where um, we bring MOH partners and consultants who would lead or be part of the decision making for OCV to attend. And the goals of the workshop are to discuss challenges and potential solutions to develop OCV applications, to understand um, the process and key data requirements to apply for different OCV support, and improve awareness of campaign planning, implementation, and evaluation to help implement high quality campaigns. Uh, this activity has been a multi partner. Um, activity, including WHO, CDC, Gavi, IFRC, UNICEF, Medicine Sans Frontieres, and supported by MMGH Consulting. And within the workshop, we're addressing both outbreak response and preventive requests. And so this pretty much matches the five days of the workshop. So we provide an overview of the pillars and how OCV fits into the broader um, cholera control plan and GTFCC roadmap. The second day focuses on outbreak response um, and ICG requests. Uh, third day focuses on the preventive response and the um, multi-year plan development. The fourth day on campaign planning. And then what we've been trying to do with the last day is and these, these workshops are very active. So usually they've been like a morning session on informational sharing. And then the afternoon's been very much workshops, countries working together to do different components of what's required for each of these uh, types of requests. And so, and so for day five, we've really been trying to put countries together to start working on their preventive applications and start making um, progress and identifying partner support for them. And so to date, we've managed uh, to do this training with 16 cholera endemic countries. And you may have heard yesterday that um, both DRC and Kenya uh, mentioned that through those workshops was where they learned about the, the process for the preventive application. 
And so um, for this area of work for next year, uh, we have planned um, another workshop in the Eastern Mediterranean region. And each of these workshops, when we were initially envisaging how this would work, we thought we'd develop a standardized training set. We'd be able to put this online, countries could look at it. But what we found was that, and what we've been hearing over the last few days, every country has a different context and different needs. So each time we do this, Gabby, this is why we keep coming to you for support for reviewing the training materials, is that we have to revise it and make it specific for the countries that are attending so that we make it as useful as possible. Um, and you hear, you see, here you see one of our original objectives of um, producing the online version of the training for the topics covered. And so depending on how we, I think there are sort of standard, some of the informational pieces are standardized, so we could put those out so people can refer back to them, but it, it needs a bit more thinking really because of all this individual adaptation that we're doing for countries for this work. And then um, as part of this, you know, CDC is funding a lot of these workshops. And so from our perspective, we want to make sure we've got um, indicators to track the impact because I have to report back on what improvements are we seeing? Are we seeing improvements in the quality? I know anecdotally, originally we were saying like some of the ICG requests are getting better, but I think finding ways to document and then justify to some of the funders that we're making a difference through this um, is what we need to do next as well for this. So the second piece of the operational work was the target country support. And I'm, I'm at liberty of kind of reporting back for other groups here under the broader the workshop. Um, so for three countries, uh, what we've supported directly is three countries to submit OCD preventive requests. And obviously most of this has been um, thanks to the CSP. So DRC in Bangladesh were supported strongly by CSP and partners to develop and submit their multi-year requests. Um, DRC request has been recommended for approval to Gavi and um, Mozambique was supported more directly by Gavi to develop their multi-year request and um, the OCV working group ourselves had undertaken pre-screening and post-submission screening reviews for all of these submissions. For next year, uh, prioritized countries for support include Kenya, Cameroon, Nigeria, and Nepal as well. Um, and we would like to develop a pool of trained consultants um, that we can then send out to more specifically help um, develop these requests as we're getting more experience for this. Um, we also would like to, what we've, we've trialed in DRC and Dr. Placid, we'd love your feedback on this was um, to maintain and kind of break the silo of looking at this just from the OCV perspective. We've been holding national workshops to retain that multi-partner commitment to the development of these and making sure they're integrated with the national cholera plan. Um, because we also, you know, we want to make sure we document what wash is being done or planned to be done in the areas we're targeting for OCV. And so we found it really important to um, bring in the wash sector to these discussions as well. And so we're hoping these kind of national workshops where we're bringing in the different partners to review what's proposed will help us retain that um, integrated approach. Um, and then as a flag to everyone here, we continue um, to need to review the applications. So one um, request is please, please, please volunteer to review them. Um, right now, there's like three of us that keep reviewing all of them. And um, we ideally, we would have you review one a year or something each. So it wouldn't be a, a burden of work for anyone. Um, yeah. So we need all members to consider actively supporting the reviewing process. Um, under data sharing, we have two publications under development this year and the completion of the subnational dashboard, which you'll hear about later. So um, the systematic review of OCV effectiveness is work that Andrew and Amanda and Hamang have been leading, um, but we're hoping to, as they finalize it, we're hoping to have this published as an OCV working group piece of work, similar to what was done with the, the previous um, publication. Uh, we also um, wanted to do a review of the OCV use since this is the tenure of the stockpile. So Malika, Vincent um, and myself and Molly have been looking at um, starting drafting that and so expect to receive uh, 
these um, draft manuscripts in your inbox for your review, because that again would be um, something we'd like to publish from the whole of the, the working group. And then, oh, sorry. And so, oh, how do you go back? The bottom. The bottom. And then the research we'll address uh, later this afternoon. So for our proposed OCV priorities for next year, I finalize the supply allocation framework, um, we want to continue piloting the, the prioritization tool in the countries that will be developing their multi-year plans, implement the OCV workshop in the EMRO region, and um, support for countries with their preventive OCV requests, and hopefully we'll be able to make strides with this pool of consultants too. Uh, and on the data sharing, um, we should have the two publications and uh, that was one thing I needed some update from you, Malika, was what, what were the plans with the dashboard, but maybe we can leave that to Anton's presentation. But this is obviously based on what I've presented. So one of my requests to you is as you hear what we I've presented and the next few presenters, are there any gaps in what you think uh, we're doing? Do you agree with the work we're currently doing? Um, should we be reprioritizing based on where you think um, the highest needs are around the OCV pillar? So please, as you're going through this morning, um, think critically because we have a discussion session where we want that feedback to make sure we're aligning as a group on what we feel is a priority. And that's it for me, thanks.